David explains in his video Bryce Nuts and Bolts making and using masks or the software used in this video PaintJob Pro 8. He uses PaintShop Pro 8 to first isolate the objects from the rendered image and then merge them into the backdrop. This short video shows how the rendered objects can be isolated from the rendered image and merged into another background image using two different programs. The first program we use is Photoshop. The only English version of Photoshop I have access to is CS5 Extended. I have tried the example in the German version of CS3 as well and it works the same way. So start Photoshop, whatever version you have, and load the rendered image, the rendered mask and the picture with the new backdrop. Let's see whether we find them. Open. We have the backdrop. TM3 is the rendered image and TM3 mask is the mask. We open them, all the three. We have the new background, we have the rendered image and we have the mask. First thing we do, we select the mask. This can be done when using this move tool and then press Ctrl A to select all and Ctrl C to copy it to the clipboard. Then we go to the rendered image and double click on this icon here on the background because we cannot work with the background. So we create a new layer. This is layer 0. We just accept everything and we have the layer 0 now. Next thing we've got to do is to create on the icon add layer mask and we have a new layer which is a mask. Now we click on this icon in fact we have to hold down the ALT key and click on the layer. Then this is our new mask layer and with CTRL V we just copy the mask from the clipboard into this layer mask and we click back on this image and we see that we have isolated the objects that were masked. This new picture is already selected so we go to layer, layer mask and click on apply. Now we find only this layer 0 here and we have isolated the objects. What remains now is layer 0 with the part of the rendered image we want to merge with the new backdrop. This image is already selected so we can control C it again to the clipboard and go to the backdrop or background image and control V in it. So we have now the background which is the background image we want to have the object in and we have the layer 1 with the object in it. There is not much to do, we just have to merge them and this can be done with either press Ctrl E and it is combined. The alternate way would be layer merge down which is Ctrl E. You have the final image and all you have to do is file save as and give it a new name I'm doing a BMP and call it Photoshop. Okay, 24 bit. And here we are. This has been accomplished. It seems rather simple to do this in Photoshop. It took me two hours to figure it out all because I use the free HDRI shop to accomplish this with a few clicks and I will demonstrate how easy it is. Now start HDRI shop 
here we are. Go to File, Open and get the background, the TM3 which is the render picture and the mask. background and open. Since this is an HDRI capable program it asks about the gamma to be used. Accept 2.2 and apply to all. There is no change on the LDRI images. So we have the three images here. We have the mask, we have the render picture which is called TM3 and we have the background. Now go to Image, Calculate. We want here the TM3, which is the render picture. We want as image B the background, and as image C we want I have the mask. And then we select the operation A times C plus B times A minus C, and we want as destination image a new image. I click OK and I have it done. It only remains to save as say Windows BMP and we call it HDR Shop. Save and we save with the current settings or the current display settings because we have not changed it because we could highlight or low light it, but since it's an LDR anyway, so there is nothing to do. The operation we used is A times C means that what is white in the mask will be taken from the rendered image TM3. That is only this part. This is added with all that is black, A minus C, from image B, which is the backdrop. You can use this function in HDI Shop anytime you want to combine. If you do it the wrong way, if you use the background first and then the rendered image and as well as the mask, you do the operation again, you get something that is not actually what you wanted. And if you got this result, you just swap what is image A and image B. I hope this short addition to David's video will help those who do not have PaintJob Pro.